Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's my favorite time, time to level up and rank up some champions. And as you saw, we have a science advancement as well as a level up. So I get to double dip. That I absolutely love. Now, I had a champion that I did want to take up. Now, I wanted to show you my overflow so you could understand why I'm about to do what I'm about to do. Saw those T2 alphas that were uh, getting close to where they would be expiring. I don't want to wait for them to actually be expiring because then you can forget and end up in a situation where uh, you have to use them or lose them and there's not a level up. So... Spider-Man 2099, I decided to take to rank four. That will save my T5 basics, but it will use the T2 alphas. And I chose Spider-Man 2099 uh, because I don't have him as a six star. Also, I've been seeing a lot of good things about him. And I'm gonna be honest, when he first came out, I was not all that impressed. I didn't really uh, play around with him all that much. Uh, he looked cool. I like Spider-Man, but I didn't see where I would even use him. I didn't even know that he doesn't generate buffs. I didn't even look into this champion at all. Uh, but then I started watching some videos. I saw uh, Karate Mike using him, and uh, I was like, hmm, well, maybe, maybe he might be useful one of these days. I don't know. Uh, but he would be a good one to take to rank four and maybe sometime I'll take him to rank five as a uh, five star. But chances are I'm going to end up getting the six star before I take him uh, up to rank five. But you never know. All right. Now I'm trying to make a push since it's, you know, science advancement. And so I go to my four stars that I still rank up and I was looking for my rank threes because that's going to save me the uh, catalysts. I don't want to use up my catalysts because I still need them for both five and six stars. So I went down there and Yellow Jacket, I try to pick champions that if I do end up using them in arena, I'm not going to be sorry. You know, so I try to pick ones that, you know, are, are fairly decent to play, you know, at least in arena. Now, there were champions that were horrible um, before his rework, like Ebony Maw. But in the arena, I actually liked playing him. He was actually pretty cool. Loved his animations, very, very smooth. And so I ended up taking him up. Now, <clears throat> what I'm doing here is I have 31 five-star Sig Stones uh, science. So I want to get some more points there. And I'm looking through here. And I'm like, well, I just took him up. And I remember uh, Karate Mike saying that he benefits from uh, a high SIG. And I think I looked up his uh, SIG and, and agreed with him. Um, but that will give me a lot more points in the advancement. 31 five-star SIG stones uh, is a lot of points. All right, look at that. So you can see how much that gave me. But I'm not there yet. I'm not at 130,000 uh, points yet. Uh, now, opening up this uh, premium, that also gives points for the uh, advancements. All right, so then I'm looking through here. I'm like, well, what else do I have uh, that I can open up? All right, and none of those are going to give me any points. You know, I, I didn't even remember that I had that five-star Cosmic. You know, now I have these. Now, why I'm opening these up is because I know I'm going to be ranking up more champions. I need to get that advancement score up higher. So I'm just opening these up. It's going to give me some more um, T4 basics. It's going to give me some more tier four class catalysts. And that's what I'm looking for. And it'll give me more T2 alphas as well, which I don't really need. And uh, actually made a mistake here. All right. So when this happened and I saw the T2 alpha, I went, oh, no. 
So let me explain why I said, oh no. I showed you earlier that I had those T2 alphas that were very close to expiring, right? I never claimed them. When I took Spider-Man 2099 up, I didn't claim those T2 alphas, so they're still there. Now I just formed a T2 alpha and I used from my inventory T2 alpha. So that goes right to my inventory. It's not going to take from my overflow unless I actually manually go in there and claim it. So what that meant, and that's why you see me, I went back over here, instead of claiming all four, I still have one now that is still in that same position where it's four days and that's way too close to wait for the next level up because the next level up is gonna be in four days. And like I said, I don't wanna get into that position. So I was like, man, all right, well, I do have another uh, rank up that I'm gonna do that will use that T2 alpha. Um, but at the time, I was like, man, who am I gonna, I wasn't ready to use a whole bunch more T2 alphas, but maybe, maybe we'll have another advancement and I'll be able to use the T2 alphas there. So I said, let me, let me chill and, and, and wait out. Now you saw, I actually pulled a T5 basic. Those are right now, one of the rarest resources for me. You know, for other people, maybe not, but for me, it's the rarest resource. And I have to be very careful using those because I can run into the situation where I have way too many T2 alphas. That's why I ranked up a champion to rank four as a five star, because I need to preserve my T5 basics. But I can have way too many T2 alphas and not enough T5 basics to use them to rank up, you know, my six stars. All right. So we got a, a nice little haul there. You know, I had been scrolling through and I forgot I hadn't opened up map crystals in, in forever. Now we only do map seven, but Kabam gave us a lot of compensation that I claimed. And some of that compensation had these other crystals, map five, map six crystals. Um, and I just never opened them. All right, so now we're back to the four stars and I'm looking through and I'm like, hmm, what now? All right, so I'm uh, going back through. I just wanna double check and see if there's anybody else that uh, I have not opened up. You see, I saw the five star, the map five crystals. Uh, now here, you saw that I needed you know, um, I think it was two of those uh, in order to take up that uh, four star. Um, trying to remember uh, who I took up. And you can see doing all of this is rough on the server because when I started doing all that, especially with the uh, SIG stones, the server started having issues. See our little friendly symbol there? At least it's not that archaic a cryptic message blaming my connection when we know it wasn't uh, my connection. All right, so we're back to the uh, four star and I'm looking through, looking through. All of those all the way at the top are already ranked four. Now, Mr. Negative is actually not bad when I fought him, uh, fought with him in the arena. I didn't mind, I didn't mind too much. Uh, so that's why I selected uh, him to go up. And one of these days, you know, I'll have too many tier four class catalyst uh, science. I'll have no six star to use them on or something like that. And I'll end up taking up a four star during an advancement and I might take him up. Uh, but it, it'll be a while. It'll be a while. Uh, taking, taking a four star to rank four, not a problem. And you see here, I'm at 135,000. So now I'm at a good place for the uh, advancement. All right. Now this is the next level up. And uh, 
we waited to see what the final um, event was going to be. And it wasn't an advancement. As you saw, it was a combat. But now's the time to take up anyone that just needed to be leveled up. And Platinum Pool, we just got him. And he needed to go up to level 25. So that's what I do at the end. You know, it could have been a mutant advancement at the end. And if it had been a mutant advancement, I would have leveled him up and then tried to see who else I had as a mutant to see if I wanted to make a push, you know, to get that one to 10%. All right, we have a, a generic rank up gem, so we could take him to rank uh, two if we wanted to, but he's just a trophy champion. All right, so 144,000 is uh, where we ended up on that level up. So we got a lot done during that uh, level up, a lot of fun. Now, this is the next level up. And you see that tech advancement? Do you see that score? If you have watched my Mystery Rank Up Theater, at this time, uh, by the time you see this, it'll be a couple of uh, Mystery Rank Up Theaters ago. You'll know what tech I took up. But that's when I did it. There was a tech advancement. So I took that champion up. Uh, it was a six star. And I made the Mystery Rank Up Theater, which you probably saw by now. I'm not going to spoil it. Um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But that's why that score looked like that. And why the uh, level up looked like that. So now, Silver Centurion is actually pretty cool. And believe it or not, he got some kills in uh, Alliance War. So uh, I decided to go ahead and take him up. SIG level, uh, he does benefit from that SIG level, you know, improve lock on, all that good stuff. And I like him. Now I don't have him as a six star, but I do like him. And if I ever get him as a six star, uh, I would take him to rank two eventually. You know, with them giving me so many tech resources all the time, I'll have enough in no time and I would take him up. Right now, uh, I have most of the tech champions I really want already at rank three as six stars. I've got Ghost at rank three, and I've got uh, Ultron at rank three, and I've got Warlock at rank three. So, you know, those were and still are my most used uh, champions. All right, so you see there, I'm just using my Sig Stones because that also gives you uh, points. And as you can see there, we are now at 67, which of course is nowhere near what I want it to be uh, for the advancement. So here we go. We've got another, uh, you know, premium hero crystal that I think I claimed from uh, uh, doing some of the solo content or something like that, uh, solo objectives. Uh, but now I'm just trying to find whatever points I can get. Now, this one here, we got a tech, which was cool. Now, the other issue that I have is that after that uh, rank up that I did as a tech, I'm low in tech ISO. You know, I always have plenty of ISO all over the place, but I'm low in tech ISO. So that's why you see me opening up these crystals, even if they don't give me um, uh, points in the advancement. I'm trying to get a lot of ISO, a lot of tech ISO. And you see, we got two, two of the, the big ones. Um, well, I guess they're not the biggest ones now, um, but you know, the, the five thousands. So this is the time, you know, that X-Men one wasn't going to give me a tech. So I just passed it by and, you know, just trying to see where else, what else can I open that might give me, you know, some, uh, tech ISO. You see, I'm just passing those by, you know, and I'm like, man, what else do I have? You know, and we're already at the end. So I'm like, okay. And then we have mutant skill on right now. That's not going to help. Uh, I will be opening that featured five star. Uh, I'm trying to get a few more so that I can uh, uh, have a nice little opening. So here I'm again trying to get tech ISO. So I grabbed five. 
And I'm like, all right, let's just pop them. Look at that. Really? Really? None. No tech. I'm just like, okay. I see how I see how they want to play. I see I see how they want to do. No, no tech. You know, there's a tech advancement on, and I still maintain that the worst time to get tech resources is when there's a tech advancement. Uh, I don't know why. It just seems like a lower uh, chance. Look at this. Look at this. Just look at this. Plenty. Plenty of the other class. Just look at that. Science, mystic, cosmic, mutant, but zero. Zero tech. And I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. And I, I want to save the five star stuff. And I'm just like, I don't believe it. All of that, I opened up no tech. So now I'm going to go to my premiums. Now, the premium hero crystals, just like those four star crystals, do give me points for the advancement. So it wasn't a waste, even though I'm still trying to get this ISO. And boom, we finally got some tech. Look at that, two techs. So right after that first pop, we've got 50 of these bad boys. And that should be enough for us to um, rank up some others. But, you know, I, I still have a few more of these to open. There we go. We got a few more uh, tech. But we really got lucky with those uh, two four stars uh, that were tech in that uh, first batch of 10. And uh, still, you know, let me see. Did this one... Yeah, I couldn't tell, but there was no four stars. So uh, we still stayed with the uh, 50, um, which is quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, and so I am I'm, I should be prepped now for the tech advancement. You see, even opening those up uh, got me to 98,000. So still worth it. And now we can get back to uh, leveling folk up. All right. So now, I don't like Howard the Duck. He's not bad, I just don't like him. So I took up Iron Patriot, mainly because he is one of two that are at rank three. All right, and I'm looking at my resources here and I'm like, you know what, boom, let's just use that three to four, why not, you know? There's other champions that I could use it on, but this is fine. Using a gem on um, Iron Patriot seems appropriate there. And uh, claiming those uh, those uh, uh, ISO right there. And I'm looking here, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead. Boom. Finish that off. And then uh, I don't think that's going to be enough to get where I like. So yes, Howard the Duck. And I believe he is the last, the last four star tech that's still ranked three. So all of my techs are now as four stars, all of them are ranked four and all of my mystics are ranked four and uh, or higher. And I don't remember where I am with the other classes. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think Iron Man. Yeah. See, he takes um, T4 class catalyst. So yeah. So all of my four star techs now are rank four or higher. And boom. Tech advancement is now 163,000. That's plenty good. Plenty good to do that. And look at this, guys. That was the best outcome. When I saw this cosmic advancement, I was like, let's go. The reason being, we have a bunch of cosmics to take up. Both Cersei, I think her name is, Cersei and um, Icarus are cosmics. And Kabam just gave, us to them, uh, gave them to us as three stars. Look at that. We got Icarus, we got Cersei, and we've got Null that we just got from the arena who needs to get ranked up. Now, I was going to rank him up anyway. I was going to take Null up anyway. But 
I was just thinking, man, it would be perfect to be a cosmic advancement next. And it is. And you see, we got the uh, objective there. And look at that. We've got cosmics that uh, are expiring. So perfect. Perfect. And so, yeah, I took those guys up. And there's actually, after this, at the end of the video, there's a surprise for you guys, a surprise uh, level up uh, that's coming. Uh, one that I have waited for quite a while to do. Quite a while. So anyway, that is pretty much what we're going to do here. We're going to take her up. And I still have not played with her at all. I don't know anything about her uh, or Icarus. I know that we have some um, uh, objectives where I have to go into the side quest and use them. I haven't gone into that side quest. I will probably do that live so that um, we can all, you know, do that together. Uh, now, yeah, you can see this. Now, I remember looking at this. Do you see that you get a one to two and a two to three rank up gem for those first two and then a three to four? Now, the three to four one, I already knew that I wasn't going to do that one right now. That one, we were going to wait on. You know, fight five fights. No. I'll do those later. So for this one, though, I'm like, you know, I can just claim those uh, if I want to and use them on uh, Icarus and save myself some resources. And not only that, but... I'll also be able uh, to um, uh, use my Sig Stones and, and get her uh, maxed out, as well as Icarus. All of that giving me points for the uh, uh, Cosmic Advancement. Like I said, it was the perfect time. And what you saw there, I remembered seeing those, and I wanted to make sure that you know I could take her up, max her out, and then use those on Icarus. And um, uh, so that I could take them both up just to save myself a, a few resources. You know, that's all. And you see here, I'm, I don't want to take all the 5,000s because then I'll overshoot a lot. Because he doesn't need that many right now. So I'm trying to be a little efficient. Which is why I was grabbing some of the smaller ones uh, as well. Okay, so here we are, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. That's right. Let's go back and grab those. There we go. Grab that one to two, and grab that two to three, and then go back and uh, finish what we were doing. And just like Cersei, I don't have any uh, experience with him. Um don't know whether he is good or not. Uh, I haven't really heard that much about either of them, to be honest with you. Uh, so I don't know which one is going to turn out to be better, more popular. Uh, but we'll discover it together because I will, of course, be using them in the side quest uh, to get... Um, I couldn't remember right there if I... I think I might have grabbed some of the uh, brown ISO by accident. I can't remember if I did or not. Um, but uh, when we do that side quest to get those objectives done, we'll be using uh, both of them. And I'll be relying on folks to, you know, help me out because by the time I end up doing it, folks will be familiar with them, hopefully. And now we get to rank up my boy Null. Look at him. He right now is my favorite looking champion in the game. Huh. I, I, I don't even care whether he's really good, whether he's really bad. He is pretty good, though. But that look had to get him, had to get him. He fits my my uh, theme. Lord Shadow, if and I, and I said this on uh, a live stream, but 
when I first started um, my channel, I didn't have an avatar or anything. Nobody, you know, I didn't have anybody make me an avatar. So what I did was I just did a search in Google and did a search for like Shadow Lord and, you know, all of that. And I went to the images and I just selected one that I liked, you know, somebody with a hoodie, you know, he had a hoodie and all of this and he looked pretty cool and he looked like he fit the theme I was going for, right? Had this guy been out, had I seen him, he would have been that first avatar until I had one made. And even before he has been out, if you look at some of my um, made avatars, you'll see that I was going for a similar look and feel. Uh, there's a, a picture of him where he is sitting on a throne Yes. And I have my avatar and they are sitting on a throne. And I usually just grab the top part, you know, for the uh, profile, you know, so you just see the, the little bit. You don't see the full, full thing. But he fits my theme. So I, I love his look. Love it. Because that's the look I usually use. Um, but anyway. Uh, I decided also, because I know I'm taking this guy up eventually, you know, he's just, he's just too cool. He's just too cool looking. Uh, so I was a little short with the, uh, T1 alpha and I decided to grab one and finish taking him up, uh, to rank four and just look at him, man. I, I, I just can't get over how good they, they, they did, uh, kabam. A plus on this one. The uh, design, the art, beautiful. Love the animations. I love his special animations. He just, he's just awesome looking, man. There, there, there's no one in the contest right now that I think looks better than him. Uh, and of course, that's, you know, my preference because he fits my style. He has my colors, everything, you know. Um, I, I, I love red, I love blue, and I love black. Those are like my three favorite colors. Black, of course, being my most favorite color. Uh, could, shouldn't come as a surprise to any of you guys because I always wear uh, something black. Um, but yeah, so we took him up uh, to rank four. Not going to uh, take him up to rank five just yet. And just look at that cosmic advancement. Look at that level up. 238,000 level up, 211 thousand for cosmic advancement i had fun this was a lot of fun but we're not done not done yet because we got these two guys or guy and girl and they're not awakened now they are that's more points in the advancement also we need to take their sig level up now when i first looked at this i was like oh wait do i have enough and I didn't realize when I looked at it that these were my plus fives. I was thinking that they were my plus ones. Yeah, we had plenty. We had enough. And I was like, wait a minute. Am I going to be able to actually max these out right now? But when I saw that they were plus fives, I relaxed. We had enough. Plus, we have uh, some left over. Um, haven't had too many uh, Cosmics to... Uh, uh, awaken like that and, and, uh, not three stars anyway. So now they are both maxed out. I think all of my three stars are max sig. And I was looking here to see what else I could do. I've got four of these. What do you think I'm gonna do with a, a generic? Hey, why not? Love to see those silver stars for my null. And when am I going to dupe him? I'm not going for the crystals. And I, and I can't go for them in the arena anymore. May as well. And I just have four of these. But I know I'm going to take him up probably to at least uh, 20. When item use hits, I'll use some of my five-star generics because I'm capped out on them, uh, as you saw. So I'll use some of my um, generics to just kind of, you know, get him to like maybe 20. So that's where we are with the cosmic advancement. Now, 
We've got scale combat. That was the final one. We've got 33 minutes left on the level up. And I told you guys that we had a surprise for you. This was something that I waited for quite a while to do. You see that loyalty spend? I was waiting, waiting for loyalty spend. And when it came, I started doing some calculations. I had not claimed all of Kabam's compensation. So I claimed all of those and even opened up some uh, war victory crystals and boom, I had enough. Look at that, just over enough. I opened up war victory crystals and I ended up getting well over 50,000 loyalty. I forgot there was loyalty in those things. And I hadn't opened those up in over a year, I think. And I haven't even opened all of them up. I opened up just enough to add to when I claimed all of Kabam's compensation and I was able to get, finally, I've wanted him just for, you know, arena purposes and trophy champion. Um, I've wanted him since I saw him and I was like, man, I'm never going to be able to get him because I need my loyalty. I'm always using loyalty. Well, that stopped a while ago. I stopped using loyalty in war. Um, we started doing like uh, more relaxed wars, itemless wars, things like that. And not only that, but the things that I was using my loyalty for, I was able to get with crystals and compensation. So I started saving. I started saving for a while. And I finally, finally was able to uh, pick him up. Uh, I remember when Big Blue did this same thing. Uh, Big Blue is a friend of mine, uh, in case you guys haven't heard of him. And uh, he's got a monster roster. And he got this guy. And I was like, oh, man, I got to. I got to get him. Now, you may wonder why I'm doing it this way why I don't just use up a bunch of the ISO. I don't want to waste any. And this way, I don't have that many that even after I don't have to try to do any calculations, I'm just grabbing the next few, next few. Uh, but don't worry. What I end up doing, because I get impatient myself, but what I end up doing, because I noticed that I kept grabbing uh, the smaller ones. And I'm grabbing them in this order because those are the ones that's going to expire. They're, they're actually sorted by their, you know, expiry, I guess they call it. Um, but see here, I got tired of this. And I was like, okay, I want to get these big boys down here. All right, so we claim that. That way, boom, you know, just kind of speeds things up. Because I didn't have that many of them, and I wanted to use those up. And now, I want to make sure, again that we're at the expiry because I want to claim the ones that are going to be expiring the soonest. And so we went back uh, to that and started claiming them again. But this way, even after I, you know, see like right here, look at that. Perfect. And I just had the one and we're done. Didn't waste any of the slots. That's why I was doing that. All right, so we still have that one to uh, two rank up gem that we are going to be saving. Now, uh, even though I did a nice little level up, I will not be doing any kind of uh, gameplay with him. He does, to me, need to be awakened. But even when he's awakened, he's not that good. Um, but he's more fun. Him and Juggernaut are actually fun when they're awakened. Uh, I think Juggernaut is more fun, actually, uh, when when he's awakened. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this Rank Up Level Up Palooza, because I did. A lot of fun, guys. Uh, so take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. If you watched the whole thing, kudos to you. You see my loyalty spend? Oh, yeah. Take care, and you all have a 
blessed day.